Over the past 12 months, we've launched 11 camera models and shipped over 150 features and updates, from image quality improvements to powerful investigative tools. I'm really excited to highlight a few of these enhancements. Let's start with image quality, a core area where we continuously make investments and obsess over every pixel. This year, we've invested in a new state-of-the-art image lab that is four times larger than before, improving our ability to test camera performance across various distances and lighting conditions. We also began a joint effort with our chip partner, Amberella, to fine tune image quality parameters for our current generation cameras. Starting with our CM42 mini dome, we tuned over 800 parameters under 20 different lighting conditions to maximize image quality. Going forward, we'll repeat this across our current generation and future models and deliver these improvements via firmware updates, all without you lifting a finger. Another major step we took was implementing H.265 video compression across our platform. Compared to H.264, H.265 offers up to twice the video quality at the same bitrate, preserving details like faces and license plates. To enable H.265 while maintaining backward compatibility with older end-user devices, we developed a patent-pending architecture of on-device encoders and cloud transcoding. This approach allows Verkata cameras to record and transmit all video content in H.265 while still providing H.264 video to incompatible devices and browsers. This way, customers can enjoy better image quality without worrying about device compatibility. Another area where we've made a significant improvement is adaptive quality, which has been a core part of our platform. Adaptive quality means that our cameras record standard quality video for their full retention period, while also saving high quality video during motion events. This allows customers to see more detail when it matters, satisfy retention policies, and do so in a bandwidth and storage efficient way. Today, we're making adaptive quality even more efficient with variable bit rates. Instead of constant bit rates for standard quality and high quality, we further increase high quality bit rates when there's more motion and decrease standard quality bit rates when there's no motion. This offers up to twice the video quality during busy scenes without compromising overall storage. 